going to be talking about today what my daughter wrote for her report. And it's kind of serious and make you think as well. But let's go ahead and get this started. Okay, guys. She wrote, the paper money tax scam. The paper money tax scam is a big deal. It's controlled by the government and it's worthless. We can buy whatever what we want with it, but its volume is what we do to earn. And most become modern day slaves and kill for it. If you look, we are in a system to get a wage. With that wage, we pay bills and goods for what we need. We pay taxes to the government for their service. They travel, go on vacation, buy homes, and look at you for more and more. The system is to control, force you to do. If we just pay tax for emergency service like police, ambulance, etc., and tell the U.S. government to get a real job and balance the economics, but they tax for service, property, health, funeral, when you die, so on and so on. The paper money tax scam. Wow. Excellent report. And let me go ahead and basically put my two cents on this, okay? Uh, I explained to her, and uh, hopefully she look at the video again and just get knowledge from this. So on and so on with paper money, money, gold, whatever, all right, cryptocurrency, anything is something basically to trade, all right? When people see volume of something, people want to have taxes on it. Government itself, okay, if, like I said, if everyone was rich, we really basically don't need government, okay? Um, it's a system basically is to control you, all right? When they said middle class, it's still basically like low class. It's only two classes, rich poor right middle class is something to brainwash you to get in a system to keep on controlling you if you look at the time most places in the state you got to work all the way to 70 some years old so you're an old man now so you basically put in your work all right your work at this but if every man had their own control and put in work for themselves, they'll take the risk of doing something but hey future is here we're gonna see with that right now to answer her question, the paper money, all right, tax scam. Paper money is waste. Paper money is garbage. But we do need it. We need to pay our bills. We have to pay for service. Bills are service what we pay. So when that bill comes, the light, what we use, the internet, fast, whatever we use, fast speed, cell phones, it's a service. When we get service from the police to serve and protect, all right, that's a service. Ambulance, so on, so on, it's a service. So basically, taxes should be going towards those people. But in reality, they do get paid. They get a wage, all right? And this is why we have a conflict of interest with everybody, okay? Give you a perfect example. When we came into what the year 2000 i know new york at the time was adding a special tax towards soda because the pop ounces were big and it almost happened in chicago okay they almost took on the same tax all right they get taxed for the city tax state tax federal tax all right if anything else why are you going to add more taxes for some stuff which you already get taxed on so that's how you look at it. It's the paper money scam. Now, when you basically look at it, money is money. It could be anything in volume, okay? It could be gold, silver, paper, anything. It's a service, all right? When you sell your shirt, that can be used for money. So your service, what you make and get, is basically get taxes. In the States, it's $600 a year where you get taxed on, okay? $600. To me, it should be a little more to make for that whole year. It should be at least about five to 10000 not $600, okay? $600 would not get you nowhere. So, to me, it's the paper money scam, and she is correct on this, okay? And it's a good thing when you teach your kids about this, all right? 
And this is to me amazing because kids as you know, in a young age, they are picking up this fast. Okay. Um, anything can be in volume. Okay. You can have, look up, you can have big coins, something for the people. So you don't have no government control in it. That's why big coins was made. Okay. But always, it's always something to volume that the government want to have a chip in. Right. But the biggest chip is it doesn't matter what you do or how you make, because you can have us online store you can have a brick and mortar store you can have anything you get taxed on all right if you want a business license you get that so you get taxed on if you have a pedal license or something and you're selling on trains or different places in new york or chicago you got to have pedal license now always guys what i teach my kids as well always know your state laws i agree with everything she wrote on here when you paying your taxes, it's supposed to be for emergency service, police, okay? On most police cars, it says serve and protect. So we pay our taxes towards those people. But basically when the money goes to now, the police officers basically not getting money from the people. It stays there. Only ones get paid first, government, okay? And uh, I don't know how everyone runs you know, the system around the world, but in America, I do. When we pay our taxes, they have a um, a company, all right, an agent who's basically look at you and their agent's called an IRS. So when they take that fund, it goes into the government bank. So when it goes in the bank, all this is being divided, it's supposed to be divided to everyone. But that's her point of view and that's my two cents put in there. All right, guys. But guys, thank y'all for joining me. All right. This is XV88 Mars Playground. And hopefully we can find a way to get rid of the paper money tax scam. Peace.